I'm trying to keep it real, I'm trying to motivate You having them bad days, just cause your model won't I've been through the drama, man, I've been through the playing game So yes, I feel the pain, that's why I made a change So you can do the same This is for the people This is for the people J. Michael with another V I D E O. Today we're gonna do a little story time. Who shot J. Michael? Let me tell you a little something about that. First, hit that subscribe button the notification bell, the like, because y'all know I'm going to keep it real the realionaire's way. <laughs> but first, look at this, y'all. I did this right here for the haters. The haters. I told y'all I can get dialed up, shaved up when I want to. But I'm not trying to impress nobody out there. But I just did this for the haters so they can still say, oh, try to try to make up something. Or, or still try to find a fault. You get what I'm saying? Come on. And half of the mugs out there probably ain't got their own hair. No disrespect to the ones that do get the weave and the, the and extensions and stuff like that. But the ones that's always talking crazy. How your hair look under that wig or under that weave? Since y'all want to talk about my hairline, how y'all hair look? You see what I'm saying? Stop talking so much mess when you ain't even looking hot. You probably look like a bowl of oatmeal. You get what I'm saying? And look, put the professioninos on. Okay. Somebody said they want to know what happened with J. Michael. We getting shot. Okay. Me and this Jamaican, I didn't know the Jamaican. I didn't know him. I was at the barber shop getting my hair cut. And then the Jamaican went up to my barber and asked like, who's that? Well, he didn't say who was that. He said, who's the man around here that I can talk to? And my barber was like, shoot, that's one of the dudes right there. One of the dudes. So me and him hollered. He was like, meet me at his apartment. Gave me his address. I went out there to his apartment. And it was like, he came out with all this stuff. And I was like, oh, I ain't gonna lie. I got nervous. Why I got nervous? Because you just met me two hours ago. You don't even know me, know nothing about me. And you brought all this stuff out. So I was like, something ain't right. But then I'm a hustler, you know, and, and so that hustle, that, 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 that hustle mode kicked in. That, 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 that gutter, that gang, gang, gangster, gangster kicked in. Like, okay, if this ain't right, shoot, we both going out. You know what I'm saying? So we sitting there, he bringing all these duffel bags out, unzipping them. Bow, 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 bow. And I'm like, woo, woo, I'm getting hype. I'm like, oh, ow, money. I'm like, money, money, money. I was getting hype, hype. So he see was like, okay, dog, you think you can move this? I said, you think I can move that? I said, do cats go meow, meow? You know what I'm saying? He was like, okay. He said, but this is the thing, player. You know, this how, this how he was. He was like, yeah, man, you know, this is the plan, man. You know, if you do this, man, we're going to get three amount. We're going to get three amounts of the money. We're going to get three. I was like, what? And so he was like, if you push this, the essays going to give us 50 bricks of the white, white. I said, you say, say, say that again? 
He said, if you the, if the faster you move this, the essay is gonna give us 50 bricks. And my calculator in my head was like, I said, so if I move this, I get the 50 bricks. If I do it right, I can at least make a million and a half or close to two million if I break it down right. I said, okay, bet. I got all the duffel bags, threw it in my truck. Bow, 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 boo, bow. So, me, I know there's a lot of competition here. So I go to the crib, to the D. I go home to my stomping grounds. Took it to one of my homeboys, pushed it that same day. Well, the next day, because I had to get on highway. So the next day, I came back, threw him the duffel bag of the money. Bam, there you go, 250000 He said, damn, dog. He was like, oh, mom, you went bullshitting. I said, no, nah, player. You said 50 things. Make that phone call. So he was like, okay, he made the phone call. You know, he was like, oh, man, you know, they take their time. I'm like, okay, cool. They take their time. That's cool. Because I know when you're on a big level like that, they do procrastinate and move at a certain pace. So he gave me, now, now first, mind y'all. Mind y'all. And remember those five duffel bags, too, in the story. Write that down. Remember those five duffel bags. Now, off those five duffel bags, mind y'all. I didn't make a dime because I was like looking at the bigger picture like okay I make a little couple of dollars off of this but if I get rid of this fast I'm gonna make bigger money off of the, the, the 50 that's how I looked at it so that's why I moved it quick I ain't throw no extras on there I ain't do none of that I sold them at the regular price bam bam the regular price just to get rid of them now remember again y'all write that down remember the five duffel bags now I go over there he say okay cool so he give me a couple of gorilla glues here a couple of bananas here a couple of OGs here you know I'm making fifty dollars here hundred dollars here off them little couple of pounds he's giving me you know just to he, it's just to keep some change in my pocket you know so now one of my homeboys called me he said man you got two of them onions other one girls I said, I called I call the Jamaican. I said, man, I need two, onion, two onions of that girl, girl. He was like, okay, what? What you want? You want um, Hogan's Hero or you want Britney Spears? I said, no, he want Britney Spears. So he gave me two zips of Britney Spears. So I take him to my homeboy. My homeboy get it. He go home, I go, he go his way, I go my way. He called me back in an hour like, damn, nigga, what the fuck you want? Just, just like say, say, damn, nigga, what the fuck you want? I said, nigga, what, nigga, don't talk to me like that, dog. What, what you talking about? He said, bro, I cooked some of this up, bro. I turned black. I said, nigga, don't play. I said, nigga, that's that Jamaican, dog. That's that Jamaican. That's that, that, that piss piss. He was like, bro, come over here. So I, I goes over there. Mm. He cook it up in front. Cook something up in front of me. It turned black. I said, oh, what the fuck is this? So I called the Jamaican. I said, bro, you, you giving me you giving me full gazy? You giving me full gazy work? He said, what you talking about, man? I said, bro, this, this ain't right, bro. This is fake. He was like, no, nah, man. You know that that's that that's that, that, that China white, man. I said, bro, no. So then he was like, you know, my bod, man, we put we put baby laxative on it. I said, bro, you don't put baby laxative on Britney Spears? You put baby laxative on Hogan's Hero. And for people who don't know what Hogan's Hero is, that's dog food, that's Heron. I said, you put baby, you put baby laxative on Hogan's Hero. I said, you put baking soda or or um isotone on, 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 on Britney Spears if you're trying to cut it. I said, that's what you do, bro. I said, you bro, you finna start a war with me and my crew, man. Come on, my homeboys. So he gave me the money back. I take it, I take it back to him. Man. That's number one. Number one strike. Number two strike. He called me. He said, you know a dude named such and such? I said, because I ain't going to put his name out there. I said, yeah, I know him. He like a brother to me because his brother was my best friend. So when, when my best friend got killed, we became brothers. And, and all his brother, other brothers and sisters like was like my brothers and sisters. He was like, okay. But I said, but don't deal with him. 
He said, why not? I said, no, 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 no. I'm not hating on him because that's my brother. I said, I'm not hating on him. I said, his money is longer than mine's. So if you give me the good green, he going to come and get it from me. So don't don't deal with him. You know, you you I, I know the city. You just sit back and let me bring you the money and I make my money. But mind you, he couldn't do that. Now, mind you, this is strike two. He go behind my back and deal with such and such anyway. And not knowing such and such was going to tell me. That's strike two. Now, he give me two Gorilla Glues. I go, I go throw them off. He call me. I bring him the money. Boom. Mind you, I write everything down. I bring you the money. Boom. Now, he call me. He's like, Jay, you ain't giving that, you ain't giving that money, mom, for those two. I said, bro, I did, man. I said, bro, I don't play with people's money, man. I gave it to you. So I said, you know what? I ain't going to even argue with you. I'm not going to even argue with you. Go in my pocket, break him off. Bam. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay, this dude got paid twice. Okay. Man, that's the third time he didn't play me. Third time. Now, we go. We riding around. We do. I'm, I'm riding around doing my thing. Now everybody in the city, everybody in the city, like, oh, I say, bro, he, oh, I got that dog. I got that. I got that from the Jamaican with the all black Cherokee, all blacked out. I say, huh? He said, yeah, bro. He be giving me some sweet deals. So I go to another one of my home. Some dudes I know who already got that dog. The dude, the, the, the Jamaican in the black Cherokee, the all black Cherokee. I say, what? So I call him. I'm like, bro. How is I'm working for you, but you out here hitting all the spots? I said, I told you to sit back and let me do what I do while you collect money and go talk to females, whatever you do, but you stay out of the way. He couldn't do that. Now, mind you, that's the fourth time he didn't play me. Fourth time. Now, remember the five duffel bags. I goes over his house. He called me, he, he, he trying to brag, he trying to brag. He like, bro, check this out. I'm like, what's up? He calls the, 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 the bigger person, put him on speakerphone. Now, mind you, he don't know what this person finna say. Now, mind you, he don't know what this person finna say on the other end of the phone. Remember that, he, he, he don't know. So he put the person on speakerphone. The person like, dog, I couldn't even believe you pushed that weed. They was like, he was like, ah, oh, I told you, I got, I got, I got the men up here where I'm at. And I'm, I'm listening like, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm smiling, I'm geek, because I'm thinking we about to, he introduced me to the big people, and they finna lace, lace, lace me up. So they got to talk, he was like, and the, and the person on the other end of the phone was like, we took that to like six, seven different states and could get rid of it. I'm like, so now my antennas up, my, my, my gator sense is going to, You know, it's going off. You know what I'm saying? Now Hawk ready to smash. You know, I'm Hawk red, Hawk black, Hawk ready to smash. So I'm listening. So you can see the, you can see the, the um, what you call it, the, the, the stress in his face or the worry in his face because his demeanor changed. Cause now he got his hand on his phone. Cause at first he was just walking around talking, and he came and sat at the dining room table and put his hand on the phone. So now the person say, and, 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 and you what? And no, we wanted was fifty bucks off each one of them. So, and I'm like, so he hurried up and grabbed the phone, like, bam, and took it off speakerphone. But mind you, cause, him to, cause, he, cause he took that person off speakerphone, he didn't cut the volume down. So I still can hear him. So they, they like, man, that was the dirt of the dirt of the dirt of the dirt weed. Of the, the bottom, that was worse than Reggie Miller. But it looked it good. It was worse than Reggie Miller, but it looked it good. And I'm like, they wanted 50 bucks off of each pound? 50 bucks? And this dude told me to sell them for 850? Now I'm steaming. I'm boiling. My temperature then exploded. Because just think, it's 38 pounds in each bag. Five duffel bags. 38 pounds in each bag. Y'all see what I'm saying? 
38 pounds. He told me to sell them for 850. So this is what I'm thinking, because I know the game. I'm thinking they want 800 back or seven. So he put 150 on there for him. And then if they wanted the eight, he put $50 on there for him. So I'm like, okay, cool. But to come to find out, the 800 was his, the 50 was theirs. Because he didn't think I was going to do it. But at the same time, you played me. All them duffel bags was the dirt weed where you'd have made a hell of profit because you was scheming and conniving, not being true to the game. Now, I'm mad. Because one thing about J. Michael the Rillionaire, I'm loyal. Loyal. My motto is, loyalty is more than money. Because if you're loyal to me, we gon' eat together. We gon' build together. We gon' shine together. We gon' have fun together. That's loyalty. Money is nothing. We live off of it. But when you got money, you ain't got nothing but fake people around you. But if you got your homeboy, your dog, your dog, dog, that y'all done, y'all done ran in the mud pit, wrestled in the mud pit, in the sandbox, y'all done fought everything, and y'all still like this, that's loyalty. You see what I'm saying? And I'm that dude. If a dude came to me, now I ain't gonna even say that on the camera, we just gonna scratch that, because I don't want nobody to know what I do. But my, my, my thing, loyalty is everything to me. So now I'm mad. So I leave. I call my oldest brother. I say, bro, this 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 dude played me. Oh, I forgot that part. My brother was like, my cause my brother was there too. And my brother came. I think my brother came like three or four times. I think that fourth time he came, my brother, when we was going back to the house, my brother was like, bro, I'm not feeling this. There's something about that dude I don't like. And you know my gut always be right, bruh. And me being me, I'm like, bruh, you always scared, man. Bruh, he said, bro, you didn't think I survived in this game to be 60 years old for nothing? I said, bro, you scared. He said, that's your problem, man. You think you untouchable. You, Because you do stuff in the streets. Where you, I said, bro, bruh, how many times I've been shot? You know I can get God. He's like, but, but you hard-headed. Listen to what I'm saying. Something ain't right about this dude. I said, bro, just go on. I'm going to keep you posted on what's happening. He said, okay. Just make sure you text me and call me and let me know your every move. When you drop off money, you let me know. When you break it, when you get money, you let me know. You let me know your every move. And I let my oldest brother know my every move. So now, let's fast forward. Now, now, now I'm mad at him. He nervous. He's scared. Because he done went and did research in, in, in Fort Wayne about me. And people kept telling me, that's a dude you don't want to mess with. That dude ain't nothing to mess with. That dude is a terrorist. That dude is crazy. That dude don't play. Why you think you see he, he, he always by himself? He don't run with a crew. He got brothers. He got a crew. But he by himself. Himself. You see what I'm saying? He's by himself. That boy done had all kind of nicknames. Batman. The Jogger. Black John Wick. The Gator. The Swamp, J-Lo, The Book, people that just gave me names. You see what I'm saying? That's how I was in Fort Wayne. I was a, well, I was ruthless, ruthless. So now, he, he called me. He said, Jay, I, I got good news, bro. Come to my apartment. I go out there. Mm. Cut the music on. Pull up. Walk in. Bing bong, bing bong, bing bong. I'm like, what's up? I see a, I see another. Uh, I don't even know if he was Jamaican or not, but I seen a black guy sitting on the couch. 
He was like, yeah, man, this is my homeboy. This is my homeboy from New York, man. You know, we got, I said, what's up? Okay, all right. This finna go down. This finna go down, 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 down. So the dude pulled out a duffel bag. Well, I ain't even say a duffel bag. A little bitty book bag. He, he take three bricks out, put them on the table. The Jamaicans say, I'm trying to make it up for you, man, from what, what happened and all that. I said, okay. So I look, now, I, now check it. I'm being all the way 100, the real Yanaire's way. I said, I'm, I'm, now I'm steaming the pipe and bust. Boosh! Because now you done played me for a whole year. You done, you, you strung me along for a whole year. So your homie come in from New York with three pillars, with three, with three bricks. I look at his homie and I look at him. I lean back in the chair and I do this. I said, bro, this ain't what you promised me, man. And it's almost been a year. This only three. And I said, this ain't no essay. And I'm telling you my exact word. I said, this ain't no essay. This a nigga. He said, oh, just calm down. Man. I said, don't tell me what to do, dog. I don't, bro, bro, I'm tired now. Bro, I'm fed up. So his homeboy sitting there looking nervous. He's like, no, nah, man, this is cool. This is cool. And I said, I said, okay, what y'all won't back off of him then? He said, we want 31. I said, 31? That ain't leaving me the room to make nothing but what, $25, 50 bucks or 100 the most? So I'm going to get $300 off each? I said, no, nah, player. I said, you know what? Don't worry about it. I'll do that. Don't worry about it. This is just what I said. I said, don't worry about it. I'll do that. I got the three things. Put them in the book bag. Zip it up. Zip. Put them on my back. He said, when are you coming back? And my exact words, I'm not. This my severance pay for trying to play me like a bitch. I say, I'm not that nigga. And I walked out. And he was sitting on the couch. His homeboy was sitting on the couch with a gun. He was sitting at the table with a gun. See, people out there making these stories of, I'm telling y'all the real. I'm a loyal dude. I've been in Fort Wayne over 30 years and ain't never robbed nobody, never stuck up nobody, because that ain't my MO. I'm a money getter. I'm going to make my money. Now, if you mess my money up, I'm going to do something to your body that's dangerous. I'm going to beat your whole skeleton up. I'm going to rearrange your face. I'm going to break your face. I'm going to beat your kidneys up. I'm going to rearrange your liver. That's what I'm going to do to you. I was ruthless. Ruthless. You see what I'm saying? So I left. He called me. You going to do me like that, man? That's all what I did for you, man. I said, what you do for me, man? What you do for me? I gave you a quarter of, quarter of a million dollars. And, 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 and it wasn't even their money. It wasn't even their money. But he told the people, I ran off, I only gave him $10,000, and I gave that man $250,000. But he told the people I only gave him $10,000 because he was out here tricking. Tricking with his money, trying to floss in front of these females. You see what I'm saying? I'm mad. So now, Fort Wayne, people in the, in the streets calling me. Hey, dog, something such put a hit on you. I said, a hit on who? On you. I said, he put a hit on who? Me? And he don't, I said, don't worry about it. I goes to him. I said, bro, I ain't hard to find. If you if you trying to pay somebody to woo-woo me, here I am. Do it yourself. This is real. I said, do it yourself. He was like, no, nah, mom, me don't have no problem with you, mom. But that wool's fucked up, mom. How you just going to take my shit? I said, bro, it was fucked up. How you had me selling some shit? That was on, on that was only fifty dollars, and you could have put a hundred on there or, or fifty dollars on there for yourself, and, and I could, and you got me out here selling it for eight fifty. I say that was fucked up. I say that was fucked up. You got me out here, and, 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 and you got me out here, bruh, out here grinding, taking the penitentiary chances, and you scheming me, you conning me. Study being real, like bruh, this is the dirty. <laughs> Study him saying, bruh, look, we didn't, we didn't. If being real, bruh, we didn't went to every state. Try to move it, but we couldn't move it. But if you can push this, bruh, for this price, mean you can eat good off of this. You didn't have to lie. You could have kept it 100 with me. 100. 
because I am loyal. I am loyal. When I, when, when I become cool with you and I, and, and, and I gain love for you and we became tight, I got love for you. I got your back no matter what. We going to go to war with whoever. Even if you wrong, I ain't going to say it right there in front of the people. I'm like, what's happening? But once we get done doing what we're doing, like, bro, you know you was wrong, pal. You got me out here sweating, getting cut, swollen up, and you and you done did this. But you, you my dog. I'm going to have your back through thick and thin, through the rice and cornbread and gravy. I'm going to ride out with you because I am loyal, real. But you played me. You played me. So now, now we get to the part to where I'm being cocky. I'm cocky now. I'm arrogant now. I'm arrogant. Because I know I'm like, nigga, I'm J motherfucking low. J motherfucking low. So I'm walking around like, nigga. Because he, he, when he put the hit on me, the people he was calling was my people. And if they weren't my people, they were some of my guys in my guys in the circle. They people. So it got back to me. And then one of the guys he went to, his boss man, was my cousin. So my cousin called me like, cuz, what the fuck? I said, man, I took that dude's stuff, man, because he tried to play my bitch. He said, well, bro, I already know going on. My cousin was like, I already know what's going on. When, when people came to me talking about you stuck him up and ride him, I was like, nigga, that's a lie. My cousin don't get down like that. Now, if you can call my cousin to go do something to somebody and y'all pay him right, he'll go do that. But my cousin get that money. This is my cousin telling these people that, no, nah, my cousin don't do that. That dude had to do something to my cousin for my cousin to do what he did because my cousin don't get down like that. So what did that dude do to my cousin for my cousin to take that stuff from me? You see what I'm saying? The people that know me, know me in the city, they knew the real. He had to cross me. So when the little dude came to me, he was like, oh, gee. I said, what's up, like, such and such in the black Cherokee, he want me to, you know, knock you. I said, so what's up? He's like, you OG, bro. And not only that, me and you know, me and your sister, me and your daughter, me and your daughter, tight. We like brother and sister. I said, so what's up? He said, you want me to go get him? I said, no. Nah. These are my exact words. I said, nah. Don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Don't do that. I, 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 don't, don't do that. You know? And he was like, all right, OG. All right, OG. We, oh, you sure? I said, I'm positive. Don't even mess with it. Don't even mess with it. He was like, all right, OG. All right, OG. I'm going to respect what you said. I said, okay, cool. Then another person called me. Bro, this mother really trying to get you, dog. I said, what? I said, okay. 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 That's part of the story. If y'all want the rest, if y'all want the rest, leave a comment, J. Michael out. Part one of Who Shot J. Michael and Why.